You don't have to go to a doctor to help you look and feel younger these days. Here with some surprising and easy ways to keep that youthful glow is Red Book Magazine's beauty director, Cheryl Kramer K. Cheryl, good morning, welcome. Thank you. So the first thing you can do that is a lot less expensive than makeup, um, excuse me, than surgery is makeup, right? Yes. Let's show our first model, Linda, when she walked in. Right, first, we don't want to reveal her just yet. Wait, so wait, wait. Tempted. We want to see, when, when Linda came in this morning, she looked like this, a beautiful woman, but when you added makeup, an even more beautiful, younger looking woman is here. Let's talk about some of the ways you achieved that. The first thing I notice when I look at you, Linda, your lips seem to be fuller, right? Yes, we actually tricked the appearance of fuller lips, which do make you look younger. We started by choosing a lighter shade of lipstick for Linda. We use the Chanel Rouge Coco in Chintz. And a, something that is lighter actually looks a little bit fuller. Something that's darker will recede. That's universal rule? A universal All rule, right. indeed. Then um, I see, okay, so you did that, and then in the middle, did you put In the middle, little... we put a little bit of clear gloss, uh -huh. and that, again, it creates an optical illusion that makes the, the center look a little bit fuller, and the whole mouth appear to be fuller. Very good. Her cheeks also, she has much more dramatic cheekbones when you added the blush. Yeah, a little blush is like a little facelift. It just <laughs> helps create those cheekbones. We use this NARS br uh, blushing duo and we took the bronzer, we put the bronzer all the way up the cheekbone and then the blush, the just pop of color right in the middle. It just warms up your whole face. And the eyes seem to be very light and bright. Is that accomplished with eyeshadow? Actually, we did it with liners. Oh. We used two different liners. We used a Smashbox peach colored liner on the inner rim of her eye. And what that does is counteracts redness and it also makes the white part of the eye look wider so eyes look brighter. So skin colored inside your eye. Exactly. Okay. And then on the top of her eye we used a navy eyeliner. And a friend told me, a makeup artist said, it's like Clorox 2 for your eyeballs. It basically makes everything look whiter and brighter. Why not black? Black can be a little bit harsh. It's huh. just a really severe color. Navy is a little bit softer, but still a neutral that everyone's comfortable with. Very nice. Thank you, Linda. You look Thank gorgeous. You. All right. Irina is going to show us how some things that don't cost any money, because you, most of us have them lying around our home, can yeah. help us look younger. First of all, milk. You can use milk compresses? Yeah, so as we get older, our skin gets more dry and sensitive. A milk compress with its natural lactic acids is very soothing. So you just, once a week, take a Wet up, take a washcloth, dip it in the milk, wring it out, and apply it to your skin. How long do you leave it on there? Just apply it? Just as soon as it starts to lose its coolness, which is also helping um, with the irritation, you can take it off. All right, and then a lot of women complain about age spots as they age on their hands. Yes. Irina, may I borrow your hand? Show us what we can do with lemon. Okay, lemons are a natural bleacher. You know, remember when you used to yes. lie out in the sun, you put a little lemon juice on your hair and create highlights. This you want to do indoors, but it's the same concept. Okay. You want to mix lemon juice with water because it's a little bit too potent without it and dip it in on a Q-tip and apply it to your hand. You want to do that twice a day okay. because age spots can be pretty stubborn and you should see results in about six to eight weeks. Right. And wash your hands before you go out in the sun. Actually, right. apply sunscreen to your ah, hands before you go out in the sun. Even more than wash. Okay, very good. Before there was Botox, there were frownies. What are frownies? Frownies are an amazing little adhesive pad that do a very similar thing to Botox. Let's they see. keep the muscles on your forehead or wherever you've got those expressive muscles um, from moving around too much. So I'm going to put this little frowny on Irina. Forgive me. Okay, you just put it, you want to spread out the muscle, apply it, and hold it for about 15 seconds while it dries. And overnight is when you wear this. You don't really want mm -hmm, to walk around mm -hmm. with this on the street. But it'll train your muscles to relax, and when you wake up in the morning, you'll look much more refreshed. How long will that last? You know, as you use it, your muscles get weaker and ah. weaker. So after about two months' time, you should really see major relaxation. Oh, and that's easy. Thank you, Irina. All right, something else you can do is invest in a window shield, right? So if your window looks like this versus like this, you're going to keep more rays out. Yes. Do you know 200 hours of sun exposure, that's how much we get in our cars every year. So by putting something like a solar guard on, you're preventing 99% of those rays from penetrating. How easy is that? And finally, this one I had never heard, so I want to <laughs> share it with everybody. Put some 
products on ice. Yes, you want to stock your fridge with your beauty products. The same way if you were to bruise your knee, you'd ice it and it'd make the fluid go away. The same thing works with your skin. If you put a cool product on, it'll help constrict the blood vessels and make the puffiness go away. Cheryl, great stuff. Thank you so much. Irina and Linda, thank you as well.